Did you talk to the lawyers? Good morning to you, too. Yes, I spoke to the lawyers. They said they were working on it. Well, tell them to work faster. That woman cheated on my father, tried to pass off her illegitimate daughter as my sister for 23 years. I want her out. James, do you really think you can make a decision like that? Why not? I'm head of the family now. Your father's in a coma and you want to kick out his wife. No better time to do it. What? You OK? What wouldn't I be? You and Ella are close. Now, Ella and I were close when I thought she was my sister, but she's not. So she's out. You're going to kick out Ella as well? She just got out of surgery. OK, give her a week to recover. Then she's out. Your memory card's damaged. So there's no CCTV footage of the loan shark runner at all? Afraid not. You should upgrade your security equipment. I'll arrange for it. I can't ask you to do that, Adib. You're a very busy man. Nonsense. Derek and I are old friends. And as a police officer, it's my duty to bring these criminals to justice. Rest assured, the CID will find out who's behind it. Thank you so much. Anyone you know in dire need of money, desperate enough to go to the Arlongs? Me? You think I would borrow from loan sharks? Well, you have been spending, and spending, and spending. And I know your brother has you on a tight leash. He's cut your allowance, right? Look, I won't say anything to him. But just be honest with me. Did you borrow from loan sharks? I'm being honest with you. It's not me. OK, I'll take your word for it. But I'm not sure James will. <laughs> He's never trusted me. <laughs> He's letting you work at Shelley Holdings, right? That's because Dad forced him to. Work is... hard work. I want to quit. Rosa, all packed? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, what time are we leaving for the hospital? Ten minutes. OK, ma'am. Look, you can't quit being a Shelley. You're just as smart as James. You just need to buckle down and focus. I don't know how you two brothers turn out so different. Well, James is the eldest, and his mother is moulding him to be the CEO of Shelley Holdings. And my mother loves me for me. And she lets me be me. She lets you get away with murder. And maybe she lets you get away with borrowing from loan sharks. I'll be back at that again. I thought you were taking my word for it. Well, if you're not running away from loan sharks, then who is? Mistaken identity. Maybe it's the neighbours. The neighbour? Possible? Mrs. Bala, your paperwork's all done. Oh, thank you. Um, how's my hair? It looks good. Great. How are you feeling? Oh, much better. Your husband's on the way to pick you up? Mm hmm He's coming. He must be looking forward to see the kids. Don't tell my husband, but I missed my kids and maybe him too. <laughs> but I'll never admit it to his face. Dr. Maya, I really want to thank you for everything. It's my job. No, you checked in on me even after I got out of the a and &E. You didn't have to. Whether or not you're in the a &E, you're still my patient. Now you must take it easy and rest well, all right? Yeah, I will. Got all your medication? Yeah. Don't forget your appointment next week. I got it all done. Thank you, doctor. See you. Nurse Jenny, I'm going home. Can we have the view, please? Sure. Can I have your IC, please? Thank you. Oh, you're the one. 
One what? Born on National Day. Same birthday as Miss Shelley. Same year some more. Really? So coincidental lah. But anyway, that might not be my birthday lah. What nonsense are you talking about? You always say you pick me up from Garanguni Man. Then how you know my birthday? You know, hantam one day only, right? Full of nonsense. I'm going to the toilet. You wait here for me. <laughs> Flowers, uh. I know it's gonna take it. I hope your daughter's better after the surgery. Uh. She better be. <laughs> Hurry up, Rosa. I need to get away from those flowers. Wow, our home is still in one piece. Well done, Kiki. Don't act so surprised. Actually, I'm quite surprised. Ken, you made lunch? Yes, all by myself. I'm impressed. <laughs> but is it edible? Of course. Huh? Eh, no, no, don't, don't. I, I, I don't know. Huh? Maybe. Sit, rest, eat. Uh, oh, yes. Um, the doctor told me to rest for a couple of weeks. So, I won't be able to drive the kids to school. Can you do it? Sure. No problem. Great. Did you have any problems dropping them this morning? Uh, no. No problems at all dropping them off at school this morning. <laughs> Mommy! What? Well, I had no problems at all because I didn't drop them. <laughs> Kenneth! Explain. Well, it's uh, Douglas's fault. Douglas? Yeah. Your colleague? Mm -hmm. He's responsible for the kids not being at school? Yeah. I mean, he wanted a proposal for the new game first thing in the morning, so I had to stay up all night and get it done. And I slept through the alarm. Nathan had a test today. What? Nathan, why didn't you tell Daddy that you had a, bl a blood test today? It's not a blood test. It's a match test. Match and test. Those are the worst. Actually, yeah, you're right. But it is very important. And so I am going to call the school and explain and get you a makeup test. <gasps> I'm going to meet Ananya after lunch. What? You just got discharged. Ananya needs me, Ken. Wait, so if you're going out, that means... Yes. Don't do this to me. Ken, it's just washing the dishes, not asking you to rob the bank. Daddy, is this chicken or fish? You don't start with me. Just eat. Hi, Mommy. Mom Ella, how are you doing? I'm so bored. Poor thing. Why can't I leave the hospital, Mommy? You want to get well and go home soon, right? Come, get up. A bit of walking will do your blood circulation some good. Mm. Rosa, help Miss Ella. Okay, Mom. Your contract got so many words. How to read? Stupid. I could hear you from downstairs. That agent told me I'll lose my no claim discount if I want to claim the repair cost for my van. How not to get angry? God, it's my fault. I'll pay for repairs. <laughs> So good, uh, you will pay. How are you going to get the money? Huh? Run for some loan sharks, is it? Mr. Policeman, so nice I came to visit me after my discharge. Miss Lo, we have some questions about the incident at Shelley's residence. We're here to ask you to come here to the station. An officer from the Unlicensed Money Lending Strike Force would like to speak to you. 
I I'll go with you. Ma, don't worry. I'll be fine. Who say I'm worried? You did nothing. Nothing will happen to you. Yeah, better don't end up in prison. Still need you to pay for the repairs. Choi, nothing will happen to you. Yeah, better not let anything happen to my sister. Mummy, you're leaving already? Yes, I have to go meet the ladies at the club for our AGM. I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? James, you're here to see me. Um, I came here for a meeting. Get back to the office, work out the details of the MOU. Okay. Yeah. You're done? Great. Mummy's just about to leave, so you can come and see Dad with me. I'm quite busy today. You're always busy. Come on. I better go. I'll see you later, la. James? James, it won't take long. We'll just pop in, give Dad a pep talk, we'll tell him he's goofed up long enough. It's time to wake up to do some work. He's in a coma. He's not on holiday. You know Dad's happiest when he's working, so work is like holiday to him. Hey, you! Yes? You're just going to walk past us like that? Is there a problem? Don't you see me and my brother here? He's your boss, and I'm your boss's sister. Sure. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. For the last time, stop calling me ma'am, or I'll... I'll... Yo, what? James, fire him. Ma'am, keep your voice down. Don't disturb the other patients. Have a nice day. Oh, the audacity of him to call you ma'am? I'll make sure he never works in this town again. James, you're not gonna fire him, right? I'm just joking. Oh, I'm, I'm confused. Do you want me to fire him and destroy his entire life, or not? No, he might be an idiot, but he's a good... James, you're making fun of me. <laughs> Come on, ma'am. Let's go see Dad. Ananya? Yes? Ananya? Yes? Ananya? What? Ananya, I... I... Like... No! No, I, I, I really, really don't like... Um... <coughs> Joseph! <laughs> You know Shelley Holdings has a strict no colleague dating policy, right? Huh? Really? Mm, sad but true. And you wouldn't want to lose your job, right? I guess so. We will always be good colleagues. I guess. I better head back to the office. Bye. Thanks to you, I didn't make this one cry. Ananya, it's important to build good working relationships with your colleagues. Yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Yes, Kiki. The washing machine. You broke it. All right, I'll come home. Dean, are you okay? Is it the migraines? Mm. I think I'm just tired. You just got out of the hospital. I shouldn't have asked you to come and meet me here. It's fine. I just need a nap. I'll give you a ride home. <laughs> you just need an excuse to skyfork. You know me so well. And avoid Joseph for a while. You know me too well. <laughs> come on. Any progress on the Stephen Lowe case? Stephen Lowe? Your father? 
You're asking me about arresting him? I never said anything about arrest, ah. I just want to know where he is. This is his latest boss. Maybe if you can figure it out, there's some clue in there. How do I know this is not some sort of trick? Who is so free to trick you? I just want to know where he is. Why do you think he ran away? Don't say he ran away like he's a bad person, okay? He's a good man. Why would a good man disappear for so many years? To you, everyone is a bad guy. I mean, now you think I'm the loan shark runner. Listen, I suggest you tell the officers everything you know about the loan sharks. Maybe they'll give you a lighter sentence. Tell what? If you think I'm the loan shark runner, prove it. You haven't told me how your CT scan went. What did the doctor say about your headaches? Nothing much. Told me to get more rest. Right. Rest. You know how you can get more rest? By getting Kenneth to step up. Don't jump in every time he sends you an SOS. He's trying his best, Ananya. Yeah, he can do better. You are just too nice. You know what? I'm gonna talk to him. You're gonna make him cry. Won't be the first time. Hello, clouds clean. I am the man. Oh, you figured out how to use the washing machine. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful, darling. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah, and look at this. Oh, you got them to do their homework. Mm -hmm. I told Nathan that he had one extra day to study for his makeup match test, mm. and he had no excuse. The match test he missed because of you? That's very good advice, Ken. And you know what? Don't worry about dinner tonight. You cooked? No. I ordered. But <laughs> Fast food? It's okay. I'll make a salad. Ah, oh, there's nothing in the fridge. It's okay. I'll go to the supermarket and no! I'll just... You just got out of hospital. And you! Be more useful. I'm trying. Not good enough. Oh, you are not the boss of me, okay? Tina's the boss of you. But she's too soft on you, so I'm gonna take over. Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Ask her to go away. I'm going! Not away, though. I'm gonna go to the supermarket and get that salad. In the meantime, while I'm out, you behave. You know what? Do you think that you are the only person who can go to the supermarket and get a salad? Well, I am coming. You know what? It's not even about the salad. It's no. not even about you, no. okay? It's not about the best salad, Kenneth. There you go again. Worse than children. <sighs> I cannot. I cannot do it anymore. Police are coming after me, and if I get caught, my mother's gonna kill me, and I'm more scared of her than I am of the police, okay? Get someone else. Why? For another job, ah? I rejected it. You, you heard me right. I sumpa. No more running. Better stay out of trouble. Uh... Hey, I got another message for her. Think about the people in your life over the years. And when they are gone, be thankful for the gifts you receive from them. For reason, a season, or a lifetime. Eh? Maybe Pa is at somewhere in four seasons, like Korea? Uh, Ansel, are you OK? Hey, don't move. I get a room. Ay, yeah, you all better stop reading your father's messages. Like, he's trouble. So, long story short, I'm healing well and it's all good. I mean, I'm Ella Shelley. Nobody dares to mess with me, not even irritating doctors. James, he can hear me, right? Well, he's gonna listen to anyone, you're the best bet. In fact, you've always been the only one he listened to.
Vicky. Hey. Don't stay up too late. You gotta send the kids to school tomorrow. I know. I've set up three alarms. And you, number four. If the mats don't knock me out. Oh, one good thing that came out of the accident was that your headaches got sorted. Uh, yeah. D. In the last few days, I realized I can't do without you. I mean, the kids, the cooking, the washing. I'm so glad you're back. No, 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 no. I didn't mean that I'm glad that you're back so that you can do the housework. Well, I'm, what I meant was... I know. I know what you mean. Mm. Don't work too late, okay? Mm. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. See lah, for so many years, ah, handsome has been doing this. No, mention your father's name only. He cannot do it. Maybe I should reply to pass message. What for? Maybe find out where he is. What's been doing all these years? Yeah. Hey, don't be a busybody. All I can tell you, uh, okay, your father is bad news. That's all you need to know. 